Fujitsu. This is Del Gear 21. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the new intro. I got it from a person. I bu well, I bought the license to use the temple and that that I can't speak the intro as a template for my intro. Well, they made made the intro, you know, the effects and everything, and I just bought the license to use it. Anyway, I'll put in the link down below in the description as to where I got the intro from. Unfortunately, the intro I can only use for a set series, unless I got the extended. It's a long, it, it's a long story. But long story short, I have a license to use it for oh, no, one video know. series. Why? I'm not online. Why? Sorry. Anyway, so that will be the intro for Hits and Tricks. Or it will be my default intro once I get the, the license for that. Anyway, I am here in this video to give you all tips and tricks for Battleborn Multiplayer. You don't really need tips and tricks for this. <laughs> However, as you may notice, right now it's still, you know, like this. The, the capture, incursion, and meltdown maps. As of June 30th, 12 p.m. PT time, they are changing the mats making, so all the mats are in one playlist. Well, specifically free. Still keeping the free set, but they're no longer just caps or incurs in the meltdown. One will be a casual mode, one will be a competitive mode, and one will be a spotlight mode. I'll put a link in the description below with a link to them explaining the entire thing. Why can we not find people? <laughs> Sorry. Um, other than that, there were also various changes coming as well to characters and whatnot. There's also supposed to be new maps coming soon, which I'm hoping is gonna be the same day they the same day they change the maps here. Or they change the mass bank. Map the maps bank. Blah, blah, blah. I cannot speak. So sorry. There we go. So yeah. I'm just giving y'all some tips on how to win PvP games more or help your team to victory. Now, if these tips do not work for you, I'm sorry, but these are tips that I feel have helped me personally win more games. And I'm gonna get the obvious tip out of the way. Don't use characters you don't know. Play the story. Play a few instances on that. With a character you don't know. Or you want to learn. And then go into multiplayer. Yes! Paradise. As you'll get 
you'll get destroyed a lot more if you're using the character you, you have no idea how to use. Trust me, it's happened to me. It's not very pleasant. <laughs> I still have nightmares about it. <laughs> but anyway... <clears throat> I'm gonna show you the next couple of tips here on the character select screen before we even get into the game. Of course, I obviously gotta select my character. Uh, I haven't played Kelvin or Indy or Whiskey Foxtrot yet, but that would kind of be hypocritical for me to use a character I don't know when I just said don't use characters you don't know in multiplayer. <laughs> I mean, I've used practically everybody else. You know what? Go, miss the mic here. The hell are you staring at? Now. What the hell? <laughs> as you can see, I have various loadouts here. This is tip number one. As soon as you get loadouts and everything. Can't see a damn thing. You know, some gear, loadouts, etc., etc. Try to make your loadout based on a build that you want. The build I'm using, I use Melt when that. I play shooter Earth points by guiding your minions to designated incinerators more specifically and destroy characters enemy minions before they reach their own. <laughs> The bigger the minion, the, the more the points you'll earn by sacrificing it. Oh. The first team yes. to reach 500 points achieves victory. The other guys will be killed! <laughs> Always having a build, a loadout Bay build, doors opening in specifically for three, a character two, or a archetype one. that you're going for, begin. <laughs> Well, Let's try increase to chances bad if we lose. of winning. Another tip, try to get, as soon as you get in game, try to get your build out as, try to get all of your build out activated as quickly as you can. There you go, there you go. Also, don't do things like that Kelvin did. Because that was very stupid of him. Tip is when when you see a team member that's getting uh, what's the word? Oh yeah, owned <laughs> like getting destroyed. You see the health bar go down. Like say like mine is right now. Running for my life. Do try to help your team members out. Remember, this nice. is a team-based game. This isn't ramp. Rambo Game 561 Kill Everyone Mode! <laughs> as much as you people would like that, it's not. <laughs> and my tip, or the tip I just told you, is one you can utilize in all team games. I am the greatest man who ever lived! Oh, and he is dead! Another tip is to always try to eliminate the minions. This is an obvious one. You know, I'm sorry for that, but a lot of people let these fucking guys get through a lot of times. And oh, I'm blocking them. <laughs> also, don't do that. <laughs> So. 
Also, when you see an enemy that overexerts himself or goes too far into your base, might be a good idea to take him out. Now, as you can see, I now can activate first set of my gear. However, it's not the gear I want to activate first. It is the legendary gear I have. As that will help eliminate the players. At least in the beginning. It'll be more better. Oh, there's Kelvin. He currently wants to fight my face. Die by name palm then. Another tip: if you're low on health, it would be a good idea to get out. Unless you're confident in your skill to fence out whatever opponent you're facing and then get. Need to return an important phone call. No, I'm very <laughs> sorry. It's it's <laughs> Oscar Blake's what voice. Never mind. <laughs> if you see you're low on health, unless you are very confident in your skills to where you you can get out after eliminating your opponent, then my advice is if you're low on health, flee like a new baby. That was me trying to imitate Mike a little bit. I know, I know, I know, I suck at it. No words. You don't have to tell me how you're right. Probably should have said track it. Hey ho! You see, what he's doing is the good thing. He eliminated his opponent, and while I didn't stay, he's returning the base, which if you don't have a full uh, supply station built up, then it would be the best idea to be called the base, as that will get you your health. Uh, also a note tip. If you're using, but this is a character. Game. This is not. This isn't like an all-round thing. For the all characters. There we go. Power play. Only two hostiles remain. If you're using Ombra, if you place a sunspot right by the the supply station, you will heal a lot quicker. You'll gain health a lot faster, essentially. Which would save go, save the trip going back to base and get you back in battle. Uh, also, other tips: don't leave games. Like that's an almost common thing I've been seeing like, when I've been playing battle. People have been just saying, "Oh, this, I'm out, peace." Oh shit. Oh, Kelvin gave up. Always try to finish the game from start to finish. You know, always try to stay. Power play. Enemy forces at half strength. Currently, at the moment, you know, we're not at a loss due to losing that player. Oh, it looks like the Umbra! Also, go start searching for a game if you're AFK, unless you will be right back. Like, you're just going to get a drink and then coming back. <laughs> because if you. Uh, I know too long, you will get kicked from the mats. Oh, 
well, immediately, unlike other games, you can join back. I know this is a tip video, but you know, I'm, I still get excited when I get killed like that. Whenever you have teammates, always try to keep, help them out, especially if they're getting uh, destroyed by the enemy team. We're halfway Ouch. there. Our minion altars have been relocated. And again, always keep an eye on your health, which is conveniently located in the bottom left-hand corner. Ready up! Hostiles incoming! You look bad. So bad. Oh, thanks for going in the fire there. Oh. Oh, now currently, I'm not getting killed, but I am still alive. Oh, <clears throat> and that's him. Now I would have died had I not had help from that arena. Teamwork is key. If you do not help your team, then it is a team. It is a. Oh, what's the word? It is a team set up for failure. And it's a game set up for loss. Giant minion moving out. Bring it to Minrek. Giant minion. He just gave up on my. The enemy has deployed a giant minion. Destroy it. Oh. Hostile giant minion en route to the enemy altar. Oh, also, chance. don't get in don't get into your ally shots. Especially if they have an ability that oh I don't know, drops a grenade or sends a grenade flying. Or it has to be shot. And that's another tip that can be applied to any game as well. Another tip also, even though I didn't really show it all that much in this video, because I think this game's gonna be over sooner than I think. Always try to destroy the any of the buildables the enemy team may have. Got a thousand bullets with your name on them! I hope your name is Chuck! Power play. Enemy forces at 40% strength. And, and in case you're wondering what the buildables do I mean, buildables like this Papa turn, for example. As you notice, I am attacking way slower than I was slow. Upon being heat, hit from that Thumper turn. Destroying that destroying the Thumper turn means you and your Let's allies will have free reign in that area. That and the Thumper Torrents won't be able to slow down your bots, too, once it goes further back. Down. And this tip can also be applied to game modes. Oh, shh. Hello, Mike. Uh, hello, Montana. Uh, oh, jeez. The buildables tip I just gave will also help you in, it will help in all modes, but the only modes that don't we start with them being minion. built See is, safely to our altar. Uh, giant minion deployed. Shepherd it to our altar. If you have spare coins to burn, or in this case, shards, or you have a build specifically set for building buildables, like a specific blowout, then always try to build up whatever is not built. 
and always try to maintain your your side's billables, like the thump of turrets on your side and the supply stations. Keeping those up is a key to victory. We're nearing maximum of Just as it Keep is a key to victory to take them down. <laughs> Escorting the minion true is yet another example. Yeah. I think that's just about it for the tips. I think I've gone over all the main things. The buildables tip, destroying the buildables, keeping your side's buildables up and running. Making sure your gear loadout is fully is fully done. Oh, this is another tip for the loadout bit. Don't have three legendaries. Even two is a pussing it. Unless you can get away with it. Oh, hello Mike. Incursion and meltdown modes. All of these are key to victories. Helping your team is another factor that will help you win more games than lose. And also not disconnecting <laughs> or just disappearing after, say, a lot of time has passed. And always staying from start to finish when a game starts. Because oftentimes, that will cost a team a match. It's happened to me several times. Anyway, this has been Devil Gear 21 with your Battle Ruin tips and tricks. If I do another one of this video, It'll be on specific characters, like tips you can use when you're playing said character, like Oscar Mike here, and his nice golden skin. That was too funny. Or I bet that's what you're thinking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm done. Seriously. This has been Don't Get to Tell You One. Bring y'all tips and tricks to win multiplayer games in Battleborn. As I mentioned earlier, some of the tips can be applied to any multiplayer game. <laughs> 